Well, if you're interested in a New Testament survey, learning how to disciple others, or you want to discover and even use your spiritual gifts, well, beginning this Thursday, we have some new growth classes starting up at SBC. I'm Ryan Heath, the online campus pastor, and this is your midweek update. Hey church, I'm with Bob Drew, our group's pastor at SBC, and he's here to tell us about a couple of events that are coming up. So I hear there's some group classes that are coming up, so let us know what opportunities are available. Yeah, so we have a ton of growth classes coming up at SBC at a few of our campuses. Uh, first off, a growth class is a relational space where it's you get to learn a lot of new things about doctrine, about basic beliefs, but in a relational environment, mm. a place where you can learn, but also ask questions, talk about it with other people in the room, and really learn about how to apply that to a daily life as a Christian in our walk. So what's really cool is we actually have four brand new ones coming up uh, here shortly. The first one is called uh, Essentials. That's being offered up at our Northridge campus. Mm. Um, Pastor Kevin's teaching that, and it's a wonderful time where he dives into various different topics on Sundays and teaches that in a very relational, but highly biblically literate way. Mm. A great opportunity to learn a lot about the Bible. Uh, this week, we have a new class starting called Engage the Survey of the New Testament. That's a class that I'm teaching. And it's going to be an entire walkthrough of the entire New Testament. But again, we're going to talk through it relationally. We're going to unpack the different parts of Scripture, uh, how the, the New Testament came about, what all the books are working, what are the five parts of the New Testament, but then talk about, well, how does that enrich our faith as Christians? We're also having an intro to discipleship class starting this week. That's a one-time class uh, being offered in a single session taught by Pastor Ryan Goebel, uh, where he's going to talk about what it means to disciple and, and what that looks like on a very intro level, uh, in a very relational space to to really unpack how to ask questions, see where somebody is, and then move them forward in their faith. And then finally, we're having a spiritual gifts class, recognizing and using your spiritual gifts. And how do you apply that to the church? How do you apply that to your daily life? That starts next week, and it's a two-week session uh, for that place. And we're really excited because we want to make sure that we're equipping you to do the work of ministry and supporting you in all that you're doing already in your Christian walk. So I'd encourage you to take advantage of these sessions. You can sign up even the day of. Just make sure you jump on so we know you're coming so we have supplies for you. Perfect. And we're going to include a link just basically to scottsdalebible.com slash events. Yep. And you're going to see all those opportunities that are available. We just encourage you to register, sign up, and come ready to learn. Yes. All right. Well, thanks, Bob, for being thanks, here. Ryan. Appreciate it. Thanks, folks. Well, if you always thought that the sixth commandment to not murder was simple and straightforward to both understand and apply to your life, well, then you really need to listen to last weekend's message. Pastor Jamie really opened up this commandment to help us understand God's heart and intent when it comes to the way we live out this passage. Spoilers, all of us struggle with this commandment much more than we may have thought. Be sure to check out this message using the SPC app, our podcast, or just follow the link in the description below. Well, in closing, this weekend, Pastor Rustin will be taking us through the seventh commandment, don't commit adultery. Similar to last weekend's commandment on murder, there's a lot more to this commandment than you may have originally thought. It's also another commandment where Jesus spoke about it in the Sermon on the Mount to clarify God's original intent. Well, we look forward to seeing you at one of our campuses in person or right here online. Love you, church. See you soon.